Good morning everyone and happy Friday. I'm meteorologist Mia Montgomery. With this weather authority update, we are already seeing some morning dampness out there on area roadways. Some patchy drizzle, fog and mist will likely greet you if you are stepping out early this morning. Temperatures in the low 60s by 7 to 8 a.m., mid 60s by lunchtime, upper 60s expected for those daytime highs later on this afternoon. And very similar to what we saw yesterday, generally the cloud cover will stick with us today and will keep about a 30% potential potential in the forecast to see a few isolated stray light showers push across the area later this afternoon as well. Into your Saturday, another round of some morning drizzle, fog and mist is expected. That general dampness that we've been talking about over the past few mornings that will lead in though about a 40% potential by late afternoon and even more so into Saturday evening to see some scattered showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two push across portions of the region. Our next best chance though for finding rain and a few more thunderstorms arrives overnight Saturday and early Sunday morning. Early Christmas Eve morning is when we could see some of that move through the San Antonio area. So let's talk about that before we clear things out just in time for Christmas Day. There's an area of low pressure near the Los Angeles area. Southern California still sparking rain and storms out that way. What's going to happen here over the next couple of days? It's going to be tracking eastward and that's essentially what's going to push this next cool front into our area on Christmas Eve. Notice overnight Saturday and before the sun comes up on Sunday, the pre dawn hours already seeing a cluster of rain and maybe a few storms come together across our far western counties. This is gradually going to work its way eastward early Sunday morning by about 6, 7, 8 a.m. A few rumbles possible in and around the San Antonio area, but then that's going to quickly move eastward by lunchtime even into the early afternoon. We'll really start to clear things out from west to east here in south central Texas and a little bit more sunshine will return into Sunday afternoon there as well. So just something to keep in mind, especially if you're planning on traveling up I-35 or out east along I-10 on Christmas Eve in the morning hours. But again, the afternoon will be a lot calmer. Temperatures topping off a bit warmer there as well in the low to mid 70s Sunday afternoon. Then we start to see that cooler and drier air work in a chillier start first thing Christmas morning, upper 40s near 50 here in San Antonio will be a bit windy Monday morning as well. Some wind gusts out of the north upwards of about 30 miles per hour will be possible. But after that very pleasant Christmas day, low 60s with a bit more sunshine and that lower humidity carrying over into the majority of next week. Colder mornings right around that 40 degree mark, maybe upper 30s by Tuesday.